Be scary. All right, so I think <laughs> I think it's okay. Am I good? It hasn't done anything yet, so I think I'm okay. All right. Listen, get this shit for so long now, I feel like. Alright, I wanna make the game bigger on my shit. <laughs> okay! that it wasn't going. I was clicking start. I don't know if I didn't work. There he is, stoner. My boy. I don't know who that is. So we're not playing Dream Daddy. We're playing an SCP dating sim today. But it's, I think it's just a demo? I don't think that they put out the full game. Do you believe the actuality now? at least. This is weird. This- <laughs> What is all this footage? This is so weird. If this is too loud for anybody or too weird, just let me know. This is fucking cursed. volume too. Are you okay? Now this is loud as shit. And I have to turn it back down. Fuck off. There we go. Okay. Who, what, my window? Oh. Can I... Smaller and there we go. That looks better, I think. 
I want to try to fit. I don't really know if I need to fit. We'll see. I don't know what this game is going to look like, so I really have no idea. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm still alive. Well, what happened? Report in. Everyone was killed. The SAF, the MTF, and Class C. Oh no. You mean there was a containment breach? No! <laughs> there was a containment breach! Oh, feet! <laughs> There's always a containment breach. Alright, that's what happened. Let me see if it's still showing up okay. Um, it needs to be moved a little bit more. Hold on. The text is like so far down. Uh, let's see. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Move it up. Okay, let's let's do that. No. The council. They activated contingency plan 67. Two numbers away. Could have been plan 69. Issued the plan in accordance with protocol 271. Chaos will consume our country. There is no way to stop. Urgently requesting reinforcements from headquarters. I repeat the same sentence. This is the Foundation slash Japan branch. Hell yeah, baby. Do you remember? Happy memories from when you were young. Memories of an innocent childhood so precious crying. Beautiful and richly colored, carved into your brain. You probably remember them. Every living person clings to that nostalgia. Every person clings to those memories. This has a lot better English than I thought it was going to have. I thought this was just going to have, like, absolutely no English or, like, really, really broken English. But this is really good. But I don't have those memories. I have no memories of when I had fun. No, it may be wrong to decide that. Maybe it was fun when I was a child. Maybe it wasn't. At the age of seven, I was in an accident. Apparently, it was a traffic accident. <coughs> I have no memory of the accident. When I woke up, I was laying somewhere in a bed. There was a person who called to me, a doctor. The doctor told me that I had been in an accident. I was in a car with my parents and we collided with an oncoming vehicle. He told me that my parents had died. I don't know the faces of my parents. I don't remember anything. I grew up without knowing my parents' faces. Maybe I could remember something if I looked at family photos, but that's impossible. Maybe it will be forever. Because ever since the day of the accident, I am blind. Wow. What a twist! Chapter Zero. Ooh, it's July in this game! It's like I gotta fuck with more stuff here. See, what the fuck? I knew it! My fucking pop-out chat wasn't showing any of you guys talking. Bitch! Sorry. And now it all went away! <laughs> I'm sorry! I didn't know! I didn't know anybody was talking! Oh. Can somebody type something and make sure that it's coming through? Now I'm sad. Okay, never mind. There you are. I see rotten cheese. Look at this anime. I don't know. I just said that because it's Japanese. The bad birthday. It is an anime. Kanata, what are you thinking? 
someone speaks to me. Only a little surprised, I turn my face to the direction in which the voice was heard. Is that an SCP? No, it's just Kanada's childhood friend, Sukiya Hikari. Hikari-chan. No, I wasn't thinking. Really? When you face your face in the direction of the sun, it's a habit of thinking something. I take it back. This is terrible. <laughs> I know it. When she says so, she laughs happily. Ugh. Her name is Sukiya Hikari. In my child- in my childhood friend, I'm the best. And my dearest friend. <laughs> what? Is that so? I didn't know. You didn't realize yourself? Ah, you're truly indifferent to yourself. She sighed, fed up. She's very kind and cherishes me. I lost my memory 11 years ago. Shut up! Nobody cares! She's deciding to turn into a werewolf again. I lost my memory 11 years ago, but it seems that Hikari-chan was a friend for a long time. Wait, didn't you just describe her as your friend and now you're like, oh, she, is she my friend? <laughs> Consciousness returned after the accident when Hikari-chan came to visit me. I still remember it well. Waking up in the hospital room, I noticed that my eyes couldn't be seen. There's a dark world. In such a situation, I heard her voice. Thank God, thank God, her voice crying to say so. Can't forget. By the way, school time is already over. There is no one in the class. Are you going home? No. I will go home. But, just a bit today, the sun is felt nearby. Kanata, that remark, you sound like you're going bananas. Really, if so, bananas are a special food. If so, bananas can do amazing things. Haha, ha, are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. Fuck bananas. Ikari Chan and I laugh together. From old days, I'm told by surrounding people that oddball. What? From old days, I'm told by surrounding people that oddball, but honestly, I don't know well by myself. <laughs> very friendly to me. All the other classmates also treat me as equal friends. So I never really cared. Well then, I'm going to leave from now. Would you like to go home with me? We'll be dark soon. Well, let's go home together. I stand up from the chair and lift the bag I hung beside the desk. And when I was looking for a cane, Hikari-chan handed it over. Ah, thanks. Hey, Hikari-chan. Uh... What? Tell me. Now, what color is sky doing? <laughs> it's red. Like a burning, it's dyed red. <laughs> what color is sky doing? <laughs> I can't. Nadatara Mura. This is my hometown, a rural village completely isolated from the hustle and bustle of the urban area. Walk outside. Can hear the singing voice of birds and insects, and at the same time, a comfortable wind blows. Moreover, in the current season, frogs join there and begin a big chorus. There's no sounds of cars coming and going, as far as I can tell. There are no high-rise apartments first. Basically, this village is a countryside, but it's by no means a bad place. Although I have never seen the scenery of Nadataramura, I will surely be colored with beautiful mountains, and it will surely be colored with beautiful mountains and landscapes. Anyway, will Kanata stay in this village after graduation? Abruptly, Hikari-chan is asking me. She walks next to me and keeps track of my walking speed. On the other hand, I walk on a road that isn't paved based on the feeling of a cane and a toe. I'm blindness, so walking speed is slow, but will not stumble. <laughs> Ooh. 
No! Go back. If you continue to walk at the same place for many years as a habit, even one person from home to school will be able to go without problems. Basically, it's a matter of getting used to it. So, as long as I'm in this village, I'm not inconvenient. Whoops, I fucked up. There we go. Yes. I will help my family business next year. My father-in-law seems to want me to stay in this village. With a light feeling, I answered her. Since my parents died, I was named Ryuzen Kanada, and I was deposited as an as a adopted child to the Ryuzen family. And for eleven years, I was brought up as a daughter of the Ryuzen family. Time passed. Now I'm 18 years old, high school third grader. Oh, thank God she's 18. During this year, I'm in a position where I have to choose between going on to college or getting a job. Although, in my case, that choice is equal to nothing. Are you not going to leave from this village? Yeah, I think that I can't leave this village forever. I'm blind! Where am I gonna go? I laugh at myself like irony. Yeah, I can't get out of the village. It's unlikely that you can live in a satisfying life. Live a satisfying life even if you leave this village. It took quite a while until I got to be able to send a minimum daily life without human assistance. Dress myself, go to school, make a note of the teacher's words in the class. Those were never easy. What an ordinary person can do without problems. It's difficult for me. But I like this village, so there's no dissatisfaction. With a smile, I added such words. I like... <laughs> the blind bitch as an SCP. <laughs> I like the Nadataramura. There are not many things here. However, there's time. Time to flow slowly. It's an irreplaceable time that I have spent. Gentle people click- Whoa! Why did that text just go- I didn't even click on it! <laughs> okay, by sentence. Everything wrapped me and brought up me who became difficult even for minimal things as a person. <laughs> my fucking brain is melting! Besides, my parents-in-law who adopted me are very conscientious people. Parents-in-law? Oh, okay, whatever. I'm not even going to question that. They raised me like a real child and not an SCP monster and promised that they would take over family business even if my eyes could not be seen in the future. It's a bad thing to waste their good faith. I think so. Hikari-chan doesn't return words. I have been friends with her for 10 years. Even without asking the words, I can understand what she is doing now. Kanata should get out of here. Kanata should do more various experiences and should enjoy more life and fuck monsters. To stay in such a cramped village for a lifetime, it's the worst life. Oh, fuck. Who fell? At the same time, the staff grass on my right hand fell to the ground. Oh. That's epic. <laughs> Let's get out of here with me. Because I will make you happy. This game is gay as shit! This game is fucking gay immediately! Hell yeah! Hikari Shan! Don't worry, the outside world isn't scary. Or rather, I feel that this village is more creepy. Or rather, I feel that this village is more- What the hell?! Why did the sentence go away again? This is a demo! It's fine. I thought from long ago, as I thought this place is strange, the decision of the village, both smartphone and internet, are banned. Besides, when you leave the village, you have to book it on the roster each time. That's a ridiculous act in this day and age. Nataramura has a bit strange custom from a long time ago. Whoops. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> I didn't mean to scroll. <laughs> As she said, possession of mobile phones, smartphones, other personal computers that can be connected to the internet. These prohibited in principle. In addition, when going out of the village, you must offer it to the village office each time. 
At that time, you will be asked in detail the reasons for going out and the expected date of returning home. Failure to do so, village checkpoints never let us through. However, all the villagers voluntarily keep their rules. It's atmosphere peculiar to a small village. If we enter the neighboring mountain directly from the village, we can leave the village by ignoring the checkpoint. However, the mountains around the village will easily be distressed by even fucking shit! This mouse is so sensitive! <laughs> just touch it and it just clicks shit. <sighs> Moreover, we encounter a wild bear, so there is no one who does such troublesome and dangerous things. Because the custom is to protect the villagers' safety, although all the villagers are obliged to child like ours is an honest and stiff rule. That's because the village headman is worried about everyone. All the decisions said to make it easier uh. for villagers to confirm the safety of villagers. From the lessons learned from the great earthquake that occurred in the past, he said so. That's wrong. That's as if he seems to have us confined in this village. Fuck. As if we seem to be monitored and contained. So wait, is this just a fucking containment breach of anime girlfriend? <laughs> is this the best game ever? It's so gross. Adults here are, I feel like I'm hiding something. I'm scared of this village. I, I hate this village. She seemed to be afraid. She adhering the her body close to me in no time. And lace each other's fingers stronger. Oh, fucking shit, dude! Kanata, let's get out of this village together. Let's rent a room in a distant town and live together. It doesn't matter if Katana is blind- Kan- I keep calling her Katana! <laughs> Kanata is blindness! She's blindness! I will become Kanata Eyes. I will make Kanata free. So, will you stay by my side forever? She whispered passionately. I feel her sweet breath. The heartbeat of her chest is transmitted to me. She's outburst of emotion. And it seemed that she couldn't stop herself anymore. I'm... Oh, fuck. I don't know, dude. Sh I guess. Sure. Me too. I want to be by your side. Truthfully, I'd like to go with you to the outside world. Even if I can't see my eyes. <laughs> I feel like I can live with you. Don't worry, Kanata. I will protect you. I will become the eyes of you. My anime GF is a sword. <laughs> That's a thing. That's a thing, right? Girls who are also swords. I will I will feed you to the last minute, okay? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> so don't worry about anything. I want you to stay by my side. I'm I'm nothing else matters. She hugs me and makes a cheek kissing. <laughs> Baby, I want to make a cheek kissing. Hikari Chan is tender. She has been with me for a long time. If I was in trouble, she helped me at once. From her earlier time than anyone else, it has become on my side. I like Hikari Chan. She is a precious friend. I want to depend on her kindness forever. So as before. But that is no good. I can't depend on her forever. Her kindness is, it looks like a lake with no bottom. Once I sink to the bottom, I feel like I can't go back. That's no good, Hikari-chan. I also want to make an effort for you. Kanata, also, I need to fir tell firmly to those who took care of me. I have to say I will leave this village. So wait a little more. I answer, take my hand off from her, and I touched her cheeks with both hands. Someday, I want to see this face someday, even just once, no matter how long it may take. I would like to see Hikari Chan's face with this eye. What kind of facial expression do you always have? What kind of eye color do you do? <laughs> what kind of hair are you doing? <laughs> What kind of figure are you? I want to know. I will say so and touch her face little by little. 
Cheeks, lips, nose, ears, eyelids, hair. I can understand what kind of face and hairstyle it's about just by touch. But even so, I feel like I don't know that I know her. It's okay. If that is Kanata's wish, I will definitely grant it. Someday, I will definitely... I'll cure that eye. She also gently holds my hand, firmly as if to convey feeling to me. But she soon leaves me. At any rate, Kanata isn't fair. After all, I'm kept waiting. Yeah, sorry. Well, well, think about it properly. And here you go. When she says so, she will hold me a thin object on my right hand. It's a cane. By the way, I dropped it a while ago. Thanks, Akari-chan. Sure. Kanata, I will wait for your answer a little more. So instead, can you do me a once favor? Yes, what? When I answer, I hear some sound. Perhaps it seems that Akari-chan is looking for something from the bag. Hee <laughs> hee. What do you think this is? That said, Akari-chan made me grasp small and flat objects on my hand grips. Oh. This is... I rely on the feeling transmitted from inside my hands and explore the identity of that object. The shape is rectangular. It's big enough to hold with one hand. A bit heavy. The surface is iron? Or made of rigid plastic. The material is different on the left and right sides, and one is an object like glass. Eek. Oh, it's a phone! The sound which suddenly sounded from the object without thinking, I will raise my voice. Haha, ha, you got punked, star. <laughs> what the fuck? Hikari-chan, what's this? This is a smartphone. Oh, fuck, dude! She smuggled that shit. I brought it with- I bought it with a secret to everyone. She says so and regains it from my hand. Nani? By village's rule, we are prohibited from possessing mobile phones. No problem if you keep quiet, it will not be bald. It was hard work. To make an account, I desperately persuaded my parents. But is it really okay? If anyone around me, I'd listen carefully and make sure there are no people in the surroundings. It would be very troublesome. If someone knew that she had a mobile phone, school teachers would get angry. And this time, before graduation, it will have an influ it will have influence on a school report. There's no one, only us. Kanata, let's take a photos together. A photos? Yes, I will leave a photos of the memories that we were high school students. Sure, wish I could see a photos. That would be pretty cool. Shoot with the smartphone, print photo. Oh, then I upload it to SNS and be proud of it. My friend is so very cute. Hikari-chan said so and laughed. She wrapped an arm around my shoulders. Come on, laugh and laugh. This is the first picture of me and Kanata. What? Well, is this okay? I smile. <laughs> Are you supposed to know? <laughs> I heard the shutter sound of the camera in the immediate vicinity. Let's see. Good. It beautiful. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> there is no meaning of irony, but I thought it was a shame that I couldn't see it. Alright, uploading this photo to SNS. Wouldn't your fucking- wouldn't somebody, like, see that you're doing this and catch you? Like, online? It seems that Hikari-chan is trying to manipulate the smartphone and post photos on the net. I quietly see that. Oh, shit! That scared me a little bit. <laughs> to stop her. Huh? Hikari-chan, have you said anything now? No, nothing? Anyway. Okay, upload completed! Hikari-chan is saying with a happy voice. The voice I heard right now is mishearing. There are no signs of people other than Hikari-chan in the vicinity, although I was wondering. But I could hear only her humming and the sound of the wind. I only started SNS, but I already have a follower. Every time I upload something, some people will come to see my account. So I'm happy. E-girl. 
Kari is talking to me without concern for my anxiety. It's just my imagination. I thought so. I decided to concentrate on conversation with her. Is that so? After all, Hikari-chan is amazing. To the words of Hikari-chan who speaks happily, I am happy too. I remember this picture someday when I and you become adults. Again, remember now. When we looked at the pictures, we were enjoying these days. I can't look at the pictures! <laughs> I have no doubt- uh, <gasps> Kanada's eye will become seeing again. So it's a pleasure if you remember the day of today as a memory. Become an adult, even if we experience a lot of society's bad things. From that time on, we were friends. I want to laugh with each other. That's- I think it's a wonderful thing. Yes, that's right. Even if we become an adult someday, I wish I could have such a conversation here again. When I said that, Hikari-chan laughed. Oh, is this time already? I have to send Kanata away from home sooner. Kanata father-in-laws will get angry. That's right. Let's go home before it gets dark. I grip the staff and start walking again with Hikari-chan. Anyway, the voice I heard earlier... After all, it was my mishearing, but I couldn't forget that voice by all means. However, because I couldn't confirm it, I tried hard to forget it. Online social influence. <laughs> Talking about Twitter in the rice field. <laughs> with the Kari Chan, always with your important friends laugh together. I wish these days will last forever. I don't want to be an adult. I want to be a child forever. You're 18, you're already an adult. I think so. It is ch is it childish? Look at that! It's got the little SCP guy on there. It's funny. Uh, a watch decorated in my room tells me about twenty o'clock. Although the clock itself can't be seen, if I remember the number of times I rang at home. I can know most of the time. I changed clothes from uniform, sat on a desk chair, was preparing for the school tomorrow. This is a nice room. Already this time, Dad and Mom are late. I speak out like a soliloquy. My parents in raw... <laughs> oh no... <laughs> said they had hurry in the village office, and as soon as I got home, they went out. But it has already been three hours ago. I wasn't told that return will be delayed, and I haven't heard anything today that there were village meetings. Here's the countryside. We're supposed to finish mostly quickly, such as getting to the village office. Nevertheless, they will not return. There wasn't this until now. I gotta save. I haven't saved this. There we go. What's happened? Worried? However, often it's parents who come back to say that they were tied to a small talk at such times. In this way, it's meaningless that I'm turning on the electricity in the room. Looking from the outside to let my parents know that I'm in the room. Let's say a complaint that you were worried when they came home. I think so. I will wait for a while. That moment. Oh, fuck. Kanata. Wearer Kanata. Suddenly the sound of the entrance opening and the voice of a person echoes in the house. This voice is my mother-in-law. Mom? I'm here. I was called by my mother-in-law and stood up from the chair. Head to the door along the wall. Anyway, it was like a shouting loud voice. But it wasn't like being angry. Hikari Chan's smartphone was found. I get preached. It seems to be different. While thinking about such a thing, I open the door of the room and go out to the corridor. Oh my god, my fucking brain is melting looking at this game. <laughs> Consuming undercooked parents carries risk of foodborne illness. I just want to eat somebody, dude. Or I want to get eaten. Or something. Kanata, oh god, you're okay. 
She finds me, grabs my shoulders, and be relieve. What? What's happened? Kanata, hurry. Hurry and escape from this village. ASAP. Huh? Wait, Mom. From this village? Why? Get away from this village? Why? Why do I need to escape? Why? 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 Suddenly, what does she say? I can't understand what the mother-in-law is saying. <laughs> what the old mother-in-law said. Sorry, I have no time to explain. Listen carefully. Definitely, you must be- you must not be found by THING. Is this a game about THING? If you disappear from this world, the sleeping apocalypse wakes up. If you abandon the reality of now, the forgotten A space odyssey comes fall down. What is happening? Already Project Mercury Atlas 13 has started. Everything will start moving again. All over the world will be your enemy. Walls of Jericho has breaked. Foundation is no longer reliable. We, we can't protect you anymore. In a, in get scared voice, she says like an apology. Thing, foundation, sleeping apocalypse, and forgotten a space odyssey? I'm unfamiliar. No, in her words, incomprehensible. I couldn't think of words to hear quickly. <laughs> it's Scrobblin time, Des. <laughs> Kanata, look for him. He will surely help you. Brought you to this world. Dr. Saiga, if. Dr. Saiga. It was a person name I've never heard of. But why? Long ago somewhere. To that name I feel very nostalgic. Wait, I don't know the meaning. In the first place, what do you mean in this world? <laughs> Forgive me no more time. Thing is chasing you. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, fuck, dude! <laughs> Holy shit! It was the moment she grasped my arm and tried to run. I heard a sound that I have never heard from before my eyes, and liquid splashes towards me. A? E? At the next moment, like ripping something, I hear an incredibly fleshy sound, and vigorously a warm object came get on my body. Dude. Immediately afterwards, something struck the wall at a distance, then falls to the floor. At the same time, I heard the sound that something falls down where my mother-in-law was. The object that fell on me slipped down from the face to the body, slide down to the floor. Huh? What's that? But the objects that were supposed to have fallen on the floor are still hanging on my shoulder. Maybe it's a long and soft thing. I grab the object and try to verify its identity. That's... so it's very long and soft. And it's warm like body temperature. Furthermore, it smells like iron in addition to the nauseous stench. Next, wipe the liquid that's painted on my face with the other hand. Thank you. I... <laughs> the one time... <laughs> there was this dude that I thought was my friend and then he for no reason got really mad at me and then unfriended me on Facebook and I asked him why and he said it was because I'm a hag and I'm like alright so that's been in my Facebook bio for a really long time it just says I am a hag <laughs> it's not water but it's too watery for oil jeez this bitch never get her period she don't even know what fucking blood is dude and covering my whole body blood smell Okay, she knows what blood is. I can't keep standing with fear. Sit down on the spot. My knees tremble and I can't move it properly. My brain has stopped working. What's happened? What happened to mom? 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 Kanata. I hear a familiar voice. The girl's voice. Voice of a close friend. Hi. Oh. Hikari <laughs> Chan. She was saying hi. <laughs> Kanata. Ah. I've missed you. She comes walking towards me. I'm blind, that's why I can't see her figure. Okay, we, yeah, we got it. <laughs> but the voice is definitely hers. But instinct tells me it's dangerous. Run away. Now, thing in front of me is, it is an Akarja. Come on, Kanata. Let's become one with us. Dude, become fucking one with us, dude. 
Okay, we got a squishy sound. Yeah, go to next scene. Why would I not want to? Why would you ever ask me that? <laughs> SCP, secure, contain, protect. With words taken from these initials, it's a philosophy of the organization called Foundation. Skip. Real supernatural phenomena, super life forms, sorcery magic. In addition to all other objects that can't be explained, Foundation call it so. It's an organism, an inorganic matter, or a phenomenon. There is no uniformity commonality. <coughs> Foundation secures, contains, and protects. Skip, which can't be handled with the power of common sense. <coughs> oh no, I don't want hiccups, please. Normal people, from abnormal object to obliged to defend. Okay. Also, in order to elucidate things which can't be elucidated, they continue to encourage studies day and night. They will- whoops. I fucking right clicked. They will analyze all objects of the world someday and maybe showing us a new future for mankind. So, if that skip doesn't end the world faster than that, fucking hope not. I don't know, it'd be pretty cool. Dude, I'm fucking scared, dude. Are we gonna get fucked tonight? I don't think so. This only this is only the dem over. What is this shit? It's you. This is not hot. Seriously, cry. Well, we arranged, dude. A little point A. Over. This is HQ. Roger. Metal Hawk shows his prize. Press a little light here immediately. Your carrier is on? Of course. Oh, look at this fucking boyfriend, dude! <laughs> of course, customer is here. A pilot of helicopter disguised for the private sector responds in a bad mood. And tilt the control stick. I will sit on the seat behind that and just wait for the landing. Mountains of darkness that goes on forever and continue flying between the moon, which has felt brighter than usual. Two hours past. At last, it seems this comfortable air travel ends. When the helicopter carrying me stays in above the place where the light was lit, follow the direction of the guide and slowly landed on the open. Arrived. Customers. In unfriendly voice, the pilot calls my name. Bando. I will not reply to him having a huge shuffle bag silently open the door of the <laughs> This is so fucking anime already. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be like this. It's not your business. Finally, it seems that the pilot said something. The helicopter rotor sound was noisy and I couldn't hear it well. Well, probably didn't need to listen. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, weird. <laughs> As I got out of the helicopter, there were a lot of armed men there. Everyone has a gun in hand and is guarding. Mobile Task Force of Foundation. Apparently, it seems that soldiers of the size of one company are being introduced. Perhaps it seems to be members of the Japanese branch, but since there's, there are many people who cover the real face, I don't know... I don't remember what that said. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> However, this tense feeling as if wartime reminiscent reminded me that it was meaningless such a, as racial question. <laughs> it is the fucking SCP dating sim. But I don't know if you actually date SCPs! I don't know if it's what that is. It might be just a dating sim that has an SCP theme. Like, that just has- happens to have SCP, like, faction and maybe some monsters in it. Like, I don't- I don't know. <laughs> 
I really hope that you meet monsters and you date them. Like, I really hope so. While feeling a lot of gaze from such frightening members, I head for the battle command center tent. On the way, two members of the group who were discussing without noticing me interrupted my way. Move it. When I said that, two soldiers hurriedly paved the way. When I passed by between two guys... Uh -oh. Look at these fucking guys! <laughs> Duty ass. <laughs> and then yeah, this is the fire emblem ass. This game is so weird. Yeah, it's like Half Life people. <laughs> the models were stolen from G Mod. Oh my god, they have to be. Hey, look at it's a guy called by Captain. I think the man at the headquarters, MTF. I heard it was called Immortal. Captain said that. Huh. It's a funny joke. Immortality is about Skip. The guy is merely lucky bastard. <laughs> Sweater it said snafu on it. <laughs> Organization is called snafu. The guy on the right has two helmets and one is going to be the other. <laughs> I heard the sarcasm of the two soldiers. In any branch, people who come from the headquarters are disliked. I got used to such a sarcasm, but what they say is right. While doing business with Foundation and Immortal is a ridiculous joke, Skip is deadly. Except in a few exceptions. Those who mostly involved are driven to death. If want to live normally, never get involved. It's an abnormal existence that needs to be kept away from the peaceful world as much as possible. Therefore, those who are not from the beginning to plan to live normally, actively involved. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> so, for example, like me and them. While thinking about such things, I will stop. You haven't even taken the safety on, rookie. What? I said so, and I started walking again. What? You fucker! <gasps> they said a fucker the F word. You fricker! This is my safety. Headquarters affiliation, you scared and can't hold a gun without safety? A soldier with an assault rifle gets angry and raises a voice, but was soothed to another soldier, never shouted any further. Because I didn't look back, I didn't know what he says this. At least let's pray that let him live as long as possible. It, I, <laughs> I think this is probably very much like computer translated shit. And right after I came in front of the headquarters- Ew, dude! Why did you just come in front of the tent, dude? I didn't hesitate. shit. I didn't hesitate and went inside. Oh my god. Whatever that shuffling sound is, is the worst. Oh my god. <laughs> the queen. Hell yeah, dude. Is Captain Albert here? Captain Albert. Alright, the shuffling stopped and now we have a fun clicking sound. Where did they fucking get this music? Nice toes. How about that Overwatch character with his toes out, and... Overwatch said- what did they say? <laughs> he has his feet out because he's... He's disa- no, not disabled. Fuck, what was it? Hold on. His feet are out... Wait, where is- where did the post go? Overwatch's new- character Sigma has bare feet. Overwatch artist says Sigma has bare feet due to mental illness. <laughs> he grabs girls' tits by the toes. <laughs> because he's I can't, I can't handle it. <laughs> oh. 
I don't know. <laughs> It's a Polygon article. Of course it is. <laughs> like, I'm wondering if it's one of those things where it's like, am I going to have to read it? And it's going to be, like, not that big of a deal? Or, <laughs> I don't know, i have to read it later. <laughs> I entered the tent and I immediately asked, Oh, look at, the <laughs> look at these fucking waifus, dude. Operator underscore girl and drone underscore pilot. But earlier than the reply comes back, the line of sight of the soldiers who are working in the tent are all directed to me. Nipple cripples? What the fuck is that? What is a nipple cripple? I don't know anything about Overwatch. I feel like Overwatch is like only played by like bisexual and lesbian women like <laughs> like I, I, I mean I don't play it so I'm a exception I guess but I, I feel like that's like literally the only people that play Overwatch are lesbians their eyes are surprises and eyes to see strange objects what? Overwatch is an incel game? <laughs> <laughs> Female incels. <laughs> is that a, is that a fem cell? I don't know what a fem cell is. People just add cell to the end of a word, and it cracks me up. <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> There is an awkward silence in the tent. This silence is still uncomfortable. Well, well. When I think so... No! Bring back the Goyle friends! Everyone can't welcome him a little more. That man's heart is scratched. Broke the silence and I heard a man's voice. At the same time, a muscular guy appeared from the far side of the tent. Hell yeah. I'm gonna fucking... Oh, look at that guy! <laughs> I thought this said Banjo. It's been a long time, Bando. He looks like a Borderlands ass motherfucker. <laughs> Fem cells. SCP cells. <laughs> Stink of cat piss and crystals. It sucks like... I have two cats and I also like have like a couple rocks here and there like... Like, some seashells, some plants, but I'm like, it's not my fucking whole personality. You don't have to make your dumb, stupid, gay witch shit your whole personality. <laughs> That's fine if you want to, as long as you're not being a, a pissant or whatever. It's been a long time, Bando. I hope you know you're doing well. I think I just want to leave the screen on this motherfucker. <laughs> Captain Albert! Who killed Captain Albert? What appeared was a white male and his- Oh, no! Turn it off! Turn it off! We didn't have none of that in here. It was Captain Albert who invited me here. He belongs to the MTF of Foundation Headquarters for many years, an expert on countermeasures against Skip. Games failed the... Bechtel test? What is that? Why should I buy Overwatch? What? <laughs> I think he skates. <laughs> Captain. Haha, <laughs> did you get a little old? Whoa! Look at him! I want to date him, dude! This dude rules. Look at his fucking tits! <laughs> you're, st you're still kid, as usual. Well, come on. I was waiting for you. Mm. Captain greeted me with a welcome attitude. The other soldiers who saw it returned to their work. Silence disappears from within the tent. Blast hard cheese? What? <laughs> I just spit everywhere. <laughs> the other soldiers who saw it returned to their work. Silence disappears from within the tent. Oh my god, I like streaming on this computer so much better. I literally only ever stream on my PS4. It sucks. 
I hate it. You have to set up so much stupid shit with the Elgato. It's so much better to just stream on your fuck-ass computer that I spent $1,600 on. The other soldiers who saw it return to their work. Silence disappears from within the tent. Captain moved to the table located in the center. I also followed him and put a big baggage on the ground. You turned 30 and you started <laughs> drooling. Oh, I've been drooling for a long time. <laughs> I think about food and I start drooling. It's really bad. I was surprised to hear that Captain moved from the United States to this far east. Apparently, it seems that you are doing well. In the same treatment as the demotion, I thought you were in a bad mood. Don't worry, I traveled all over the world. Oh! Although the humid climate of East Asia is unbearable. I wasn't sent to the unexplored jungle of, or extremely cold South Pole. I'm lucky, and Japanese soldiers are diligent. Besides, there there were guts too. He reads Berserk. He thinks because they're Japanese that they have mangas on them. If the leader is excellent, the subordinates will also become excellent. Although the Japanese branch says that there was a serious shortage of human resources. Since three months ago, containment breach acts. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I was a high school, a blind high school girl, 18 years old and still in high school. And my girlfriend, or my friend, wants to fuck me and asked me to run away with her. And she stole a cell phone that you're not allowed to have in their village and then my mom came home and told me to run away from the village and she got murdered and yeah that's what happened so far i hope it was a monster the rookie being trained by captain will have a hard time after a long time of reunion we make sure of our friendship that's not just a widow's peak that's a widow's fucking stunt ramp <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't skate. The little the widow's peak on his head is a skate park. <laughs> About ten years have passed since I became acquainted with Captain. Dude, he's sick, dude. Captain has been active at NCC and Tactical Response Officer Foundation for many years, and is a person who has confronted a number of skip. Before belonging to the Foundation, he belonged to the US Marines! Oh boy! After that, he was something. He continued. Uh, Gray Fox, Metal Gear, last work secretly involved in Neptune Spear, scouted for Foundation. So he's an epic military guy who's shooting monsters. I trust him because he's white. He's a white American. He knows what he's doing. Although there were various. There were various at the time. It was mine who relied. What are you talking about? Various what? <laughs> Everywhere he walks, he hosts the X Games. <laughs> this fucking guy listens to Buck Cherry. How's the air in Japan? God awful. There isn't any impression. For my dad to be home. For my dad, it may be home country, but for me, it's a strange land. Above all, Japan is too difficult to learn a language. He's not a weeb. He's the anti-weeb. He doesn't want to bother. He showed a lonely look. He still listens to Real Big Fish. <laughs> I have a Real Big Fish hoodie. It's awesome. <laughs> I got it from the thrift store. Because I had a... A ska phase in high school. I don't think the ska phase ever really ends. You always have it in your heart. I have half Japanese blood flowing. The other half are Iranian. That's a weird mix. That's why I'm half Japanese, half Iranian. Oh my god, you didn't need to fucking write that. I'm half Japanese, half Iranian. That's why I'm half Japanese and half Iranian. Bando seems to be surname of Japan, but I don't know the details. Anyways, I was born and raised in the Middle East because my father abandoned home country. Therefore, I don't feel so much that the Japanese's blood is mixed with myself. Well then, called by you, came to Japan from the United States. 
suddenly take in a way until such a mountainous area. To such pathetic me, what are you letting me do? I got into the subject. Okay, let's talk about the circumstances of the thing. Oh my god, can we please talk about a fucking monster? Oh, for now, Captain comes up with a delicate look. He places a breath and starts talking. Three hours before the present time, Foundation Japan Branch intercepted a mysterious phone call. Apparently, it seems that an ordinary person is seeking help from the police. The plate. Fucking SCP in my house. <laughs> Did you fucking hear that? Ew. Hi. No, come back. <laughs> It's fucking scary, dude. It was my cat. <laughs> Come back! No, he's gone. He got upset because I touched him. He knew I was going to pick him up. <laughs> the place where the telephone was sent is five kilometers south beyond the mountain. It's in the village called the- Oh, it's the- Their village! Oh! Few people in the countryside. Oh fuck, dude. That's an iPhone, baby. The thing that was sent from the smartphone to the police. The voice of the phone is of women, and it seems to be a student because it was still relatively young. As long as you listen to call logs, the girl was shouting the same words repeatedly. Help me. Be killed by the flesh. Oh dude, that's so sick. I want that. Apparently, she seems to have been chased by something. It was a very imminent voice. The flesh. When I heard that word, I had a very bad feeling. If possible, it's a word I don't want to hear much. Especially regarding this business. In my words, Captain nods slowly. Uh, nope. Judge the situation and decide to patch an MTF. So a warning line around the village with a barbed wire and an infrared detector and blocked it completely. Giant carnivorous pussy. That would be sick. At least no one has escaped from the village until present time. Anyway, Bando, how far do you know about SCP-610? Uh... I'm gonna say I don't know because I want somebody to explain it to me. Because I want to know about a monster because I think that would be pretty cool. Was it Skip that was discovered in Russia? To be honest... I don't know the details. Oh, look at him! That's cool! He, it's, I mean, I don't like that it's all pixelated out, I guess. I'd like to see it more detailed, but it's like a flesh boy eating meat at a dinner table. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to be. A Cronenberg SCP? Wait, what? Do you know about this one? The biohazard that occurred in the vicinity of Russia's southern Siberia Lake Baikal, and the infected people by that are called SCP-610. The infected person will mutate into a brown flesh mass, eventually losing its intellect and becoming a thing to spread infection. God, I wish that were me. In addition, it often changes to organisms like plants, and it's also characterized by having flesh rooted in infected areas. I also want that to be me. With this characteristic, when a biohazard occurs, organic substances or organic substances and land around the surroundings become the flesh that hates. Oh, that's so sick. <laughs> if flesh is rooted even once, complete removal is impossible. I have to save I haven't saved in a million years. There is no choice but to isolate and control infection. Really? That skip is pisses me off. And I'll tell you, that skip really pisses me off. Well, it's unlike you. It looks like a grudge as well. That's right, I'm grudging. <laughs> I'm hard grudging. At the time of discovery of SCP-610, the units dispatched to the site and damaged were it was my students. This is a document that can be disclosed. Check it. I roughly read the past materials and understand only the important things. Basically, did this biohazard occurred in Natatara Mura? 
No, according to the record, no abnormality was reported in the vicinity. Yet suddenly, it can't be thought that a large number of objects like SCP-610 will appear. I hope I can date him. I want to date the flesh that hates. It should be called the flesh that dates. That would be awesome. Yeah, today is my birthday. Thank you. This is what I'm choosing to do with it. <laughs> so is there a possibility that someone brought spores? There is no evidence that spores and organisms, sporganisms, kept in the foundation were brought out. Flesh that dates is SCP-610 dating sim. Hell yeah. The incel version of Flesh that reads. <laughs> Fuck off. And there is no information that someone has invaded Site A. In addition, as a result of collecting and invest- Investigating air samples around the village about one hour. Oh my god, it didn't even click! What the fuck? Microparticles and spores containing elements of 610 weren't detected. Then why are we talking about this thing? Because it's epic? That there is no spore flesh. I thought that said flesh prints. <laughs> That'd be cool. There's a possibility of existence different from 610. Yes, several similar skips have been discovered so far, but we can't conclude yet under the present situation. However, if it's the same existence, it's mysterious that already infected people haven't begun to wander. In other words, unknown skip different from 610 is over there. Spores or viruses? Place or thing? Or another something? I don't know the identity, but there is a possibility. <coughs> so. I need to go to the site and investigate the cause. I see. It's exactly the right mission for me. I laugh cynical. Well, Captain showed the expression of mixed feelings. I do have meat on the mind. <laughs> the flesh prince of Bel Air. <laughs> that shouldn't make me laugh. It did. Three months ago, containment breach accidents. Many experienced soldiers also became K. I've been playing this game for an hour? Hold on. Can I see my. Oh my god, I've been playing shit for over an hour? I haven't done anything! We saw one monster all pixelated out in just, in just a picture. Stupid. <laughs> I guess. I mean, it's it, the title is SCP whatever blah 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 demo V E R like demo version. I would assume, but maybe this is the whole game and they just never changed the name of it. I don't. I anything that I find about this game is like entirely in Japanese, so I have no fucking idea. I should watch, like, a, a let's play of it or something and see if they know more about it. Many experienced soldiers also became KIA, nearly have soldiers in the space. Amateurs, moreover, people who don't have military harriers. What's this SCP? What do you have for me? Damn, dude. He's thick. Ooh, he thick. Although they are diligent, but they are useless in an actual combat. Any further loss? Someone let a blip blop. You notice that too? In this case, you're troublesome. Suppress the damage. I need your power. Your power belonging to MTF Ta Tau 5 Samsara is necessary for us. What? That was the name I heard after a long time. It's nostalgic. And it's also a name I didn't want to recall. That's fucking old fart. <laughs> oh, this game. Captain muttered as thanks a word. Guess from Captain's words, the units have not yet going in the Nadatara Mura. If you only give priority to securing Skip, you should have brought soldiers of the Japanese branch to the village at once. But in that case, it's impossible to imagine how much victims will come from the soldiers. 
He didn't act foolishly as a leader of the unit. Information on the buh 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 Here it is again! Here's all the stats about it. 954 people. Forestry is the income source. 5,000 people is in the railroad. It's epic. Causes straw phenomenon. Residents left the village. Cool. A place called sparsely populated areas. Typical Japanese countryside. Don't give me a map. Maps are boring. I don't want it. I got frustrated and interrupted the words of Captain. It's because it's only a waste of time. It is a waste of time. You told me you intercepted the phone a little while ago, about three hours before the present time. Oh, fuck. There's, there's our Gmod buddies again. <laughs> Assuming that Foundation intercepted information after organizing dispatching. Hubbada hubbada hoo! Judging the A classes of their as 150 soldiers, Japanese branch. Considering location conditions. Can't do it in three hours. Even if 610's involved. Foundation ignores the investigation procedure. Something about large units. Basically a stealth mission with a small number. Basically, the Japan branch was aware of the abnormal situation before the telephone. Something poop poop doop. Poop a doop a doop. Man's titties. I'm out of this mission. Use D-class. I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. Japanese branch is even shorter people in D class. D's nuts class. Alright. Although it's a part of confidentiality, I teach information as far as I can know. Just to confirm. Keep it to yourself. Oh. I was robbed of the words. Captain gave a wry smile again. What did he say? Whatever. Hell yeah. Meat furniture, dude. It's so good. The identity of Nataramura. Mura. It's a people avoided village created by the cover story of the Japanese government. Oh shit! The village name and location, ghost sightings, and rumors of eerie customs. The nation intentionally disseminates the occult talk everywhere. It had isolated the village. Actually, people in other towns and villages seem creepy and didn't come close. The country intentionally? Why is it? That is because the mountains around Bababa function as the informal waste disposal facility of the Japanese government. Radioactive waste that the Japanese government can't publicize. Oh fuck, dude. Lots of trash. Other harmful objects on public safety work. It had buried everything and thoroughly concealed it so as not to touch the eyes of the public and the media. So they bury... Oh no, they just bury the information, like, metaphorically. Well, where do they put all this shit? So people are just <laughs> growing crops in this radioactive garbage heap? <laughs> Fuck off. It was... I'm gonna... How, how, can I, how can I shorten this? Nama. I'll say it like that, Nama, that was responsible for the monitoring of the waste disposal facility and camouflage. Only a few occult manias with prejudice versus the village. Either way, people's consciousness isn't directly, or isn't directed to the surrounding mountains. I, I don't know if this is gonna be, if you f date monsters and get sucked off by an SCP. I don't know. I want it to be. There's been like anime girlfriends and shit. Get out of here, motherfucker. Uh. I don't know if you like fuck them or whatever. Gay Grant? Oh. <laughs> Instead of being stigmatized by the village, the village mayor seems to have received Grey Grant from the country. Basically, Nama is an illegal dumping <laughs> dumpling place <laughs> operated by the government. 
And it was a graveyard where one end of Japanese darkness was buried. Perhaps there will be several such places in the country. You fucking better be able to fuck a ghost in this game. This is the stage face of Nama. In fact, is the foundation involved? That's right! Anyways, Nama has disappeared once from the Japanese map as it merged with other towns and villages in 1955. A media manipulation of T he government <laughs> and foundation currently is officially present. But even if it's searched on the internet, information about the village hardly hits. Furthermore, more than half of the resident villagers seem to have been a field agent of foundation. No wonder they got infected, they ate the fucking dumplings. <laughs> You- I think that I have had three instances of being able to choose something. And the choices were really not that different from each other, from what I remember. <laughs> like, this is just- this is just a literal, like, this is just a book that I'm reading on the computer. This is a- What's it called when you read a book out loud to people? I don't know. I'm Story stupid. Time. Story time? <laughs> Story time. I was fucked by an SCP. Furthermore, within <laughs> half of the resident villagers have been As you said, I just deployed soldiers according to the emergency response protocol that Foundation has decided. A village that disappeared from map. What did Foundation do there doing? <laughs> When I asked, Captain sighed. I don't know. The Japanese branch didn't disclose. Dis close. <laughs> Bando, dude. The Japanese branch didn't disclose information to me so far. I keep thinking it says Brando, and it reminds me of Dwayne and Brando. If anybody in here knows what Dwayne and Brando is, I'll scream. <laughs> it seems that there's a special case. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, you should be given more information. Level four. I want to fuck a monster. The directives given to me by them are field in investigation, concealment work, thorough surrounding of surroundings, securing abnormal existence, or is to be terminated by physical means, and the protection of her. Oh, her. Oh! I can't really say that's me because. I mean, I play from her perspective, but. I don't know. Woman. And is still a child. <laughs> well, I don't know. Is she a woman or is she a child? Underage women. <laughs> Ooh. Her name is Rios and Kanata. 18. She's a woman. She's an adult. She goes to the village's only consistent school. Baby woman so fresh is crying. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Baby boy is so precious crying. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> she goes to the village's only consistent school. As a physical feature, it seems that both eyes are not perfectly visible. <laughs> Well, yeah, you can't see your eyes in the picture. She's asleep. Not that she's blind or anything. It's a blind, a blind visually impaired person. <laughs> I pick up the pictures and look at the girl's figure. You gotta stop doing that. You gotta stop talking about figure. Shoulder with a feminine slender and handsome face. <laughs> that bitch is fucking handsome. Black hair looks like- you can't say looks like a Japanese! You can't say that. But fair skin and high nose like Wesser is. High nose? What are you talking about? She, she's the perfect woman. She's got like the whole Snow White thing going on. She's got like the dark hair and the pale skin and the Disney princess nose. That's like... The, the most fuckable combo, I guess. I don't know. 420 notes. <laughs> I don't know, maybe this was written by a dude. <laughs> I feel like this was also written by a computer. 
with like male intent. <laughs> In this case, facial features and color of the skin aren't big problems. Color of the skin aren't big problems. <laughs> okay. Skip, of course, also includes human. Even if it looks like a normal human being, there are many who are certified by Skip. Wait, so is this blind bitch an SCP and she's gonna fuck this other military guy? Is that what this story is? I don't wanna fuck this plain ass fucking Mary Jane ass fucking <laughs> schoolgirl. I don't wanna. I want her to be an awesome monster. I want her to have like a second mouth inside of her mouth, at least something cool. Who the fuck was that? I didn't see that. Whoever fell. Oh, okay. Wow, hi Zen, thank you. I know you're in here, but... <laughs> thank you for getting eight. Even so, it's some mental salvation. Are you interested? No. You didn't know you weren't fine. It's fine. I don't even ever stream. <laughs> she is a beautiful woman. Besides, a cute face. It's your favorite type. Oh, my favorite type of woman is a woman with a cute face. A woman with an ugly face? Get the fuck out of here. Don't want anything to do with them. Captain says with grinning. Are you kidding me? Don't get angry. Just kidding. I know you want to fuck that 18 year old. It's fine that I can say that because she's 18. I give a tisk tisk. That old fart. How old is he supposed to be that he's calling him an old fart? I forgot in anime they consider like 23 to be really old. I don't know. There's no information. Is she the people concerned foundation or skip? What was that that just popped up that just went away? Whatever. Nothing in this game means anything. Anyway, her protection is the most important matter. As soon as an abnormal existence and its girl have been secured, a village scorched earth approach is to be- Oh my god! <laughs> Are they gonna set this fucking place on fire? <laughs> That's fine. He's doing the, like, like the dick out stance. He's getting ready to get sucked off. I just want to see you get involved. I know! I fucking want to fuck a monster. That's all I want. I'm tired of listening to men talk and I'm tired of listening to women talk. You must carry all responsibility. Here's these chairs again. Protect the girl. I'm gonna fuck the girl. That's what it is. Several pieces of information on girls. Breast pocket. Bag. Girls, bags, breasts. It's just all about women. It's the stuff that women like. Bags and breasts. Body armor with various accessories. Cool. Here's my infinity gun. <laughs> Automatic pistol pierced in thigh holster. That's hot, dude. You got a fucking anime husband with a cool gun on his thigh. I don't know what that said. I forgot to read it. <laughs> finally... Pen injectors. Okay. That would be enough. I take out an empty pen injector. I pierce it under my own right chest. I feel a sharp pain in the injection needle. This is the kind of pain of- Why did he stab himself? Immediately after collecting contents about the pen injector, a small body. Are you still doing that? Even if I look at it many times, it will be shutter. It looks like a junkie. He already made the joke. Original is valuable, so I can't waste it. Besides, it's not injection, but collection. Don't lump me in with junkie. I like how junkie is. <laughs> oh no, it's not capitalized. Or was it once and now it's not? I don't know, whatever. SA 82L1? What are you talking about? Oh, the gun? That's funny. <laughs> I'm glad that anyone knows what the fuck else this is. Gave a wry smile. Alright, or let's go to the village! Let's talk to some fucking girls or whatever. I barely brought AFV. The military, something, Blackhawks. 
No, they can't. They're not allowed. Military issued expressions. Who is this? I have to wait for the delay to show me who followed. Oh, hi, Shazbot. In the strike package, don't worry, even if it's stuff. Transformers. I'm leaving the tent! No! I'm leaving the tent! I'll turn my walkie talkie on. Let me go! I shook hands. Oh, please let me leave. <laughs> Albert got the. <laughs> he got the Chad surgery! <laughs> Sex is for sinners. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, let me save her really quick. Boop! I said boop! Boop! Oh. Mm. In order to head to Nam, I was going through the mountain across the barbed wire. It's past 23 o'clock. The leaves of the tree block the moonlight. Even the feet can't be seen without night vision apparatus. <laughs> I walk while paying attention to my feet. That's what kind of game this is. In the mountain area at night, even a small sound that goes around. <laughs> Baby monster, so precious. <laughs> so precious screaming. For example, sounds folded down, sounds folded down twigs, sound or hit. I don't need to know about all the sounds. I don't, stop. I don't, stop talking about that. Time is, Night sensitizes creatures' ears. Unlike deserts and urban areas, cautiousness is indispensable to put on a mountain night. I feel like I've been squinting this whole time. Moreover, is if the target is unknown existence, I should try to be more cautious. I grew up in the desert. I'm epic. Creepy. Sounds of insects where the plants shake with the wind. I can't hear the bird's voice, and I don't feel someone. Wind is lukewarm. Air clings to the skin and is filled with discomfort. Still, I head for the village. At the same time, gradually begin to feel a bad smell, with the smell of blood enough to cause nausea, and the smell of the internal organs of the organisms. <laughs> when I felt that smell was full, I arrived at my destination. <laughs> Sound of incest. Nama! Once the village disappeared from Japan. And the village that will be erased again. I hid myself in the nearby bush and pushed the chest PTT switch. This is Bando. Captain, can you hear me? Over. This is Albert. I can hear it. The sensitivity is clear. The voice of Captain comes back from the radio right away. Apparently there seems to be nothing to hinder radio waves. Arrived at Nama. Searching... So, start searching the site and searching the girl from this. Copy. Then the object to be protected from this is called Swan. And the subsequent radio communications are recorded and I will observe you from the sky for support. Well, how is this? This is Captain. I can see what your name is. It literally shows it on the screen every time you call. <laughs> Banjo. Well, how is the situation of the village seen from the ground? The house has a light, but I don't feel someone. Even so, it's a bad smell. It's horrible. Most of the villagers will are no longer alive. Quickly search for Swan. If you can, find it alive. It's not like him to do. No self-confidence voice. Already, the entire village is wrapped in an abnormal atmosphere. What is desperate for the survival of a girl? He also knows well. But I believe that it was the right judgment that we didn't hurry the situation. Roger that. Go to the village. It did have gay sexual tension involved in the beginning. You missed it. It had some lesbians. But that was in the very beginning. And one of them is probably dead at this point. What are you seeing with your beautiful eyes on the ground? I don't know. <laughs> he talks about girls like David Attenborough talks about birds of paradise. <laughs> Hold the gun and proceed. I don't know when, where, from what will attack. Because there is a night vision device 
Inconsiderable. Oh my god, I know what a night vision device does. Yep. Sp a spine tingling. Sweat flows in the cheeks due to tension. Unconsciously grips the grip strongly. Moving through the village for a while. Oh, thank you! Hello! Moving through the village for a while, then... Is that in the game? No, it's not! <laughs> I was so excited! I thought that growling was in the game! Fuck! That was well-timed. I saw it in the dark. At the same time, I regretted it. Blood. I saw the girl through my night vision device. Night useful spectral range techniques can sense radiation that is invisible to a human observer. Human vision is confined to a small portion of the electromagnetic spectrum called visible light. Enhanced spectral range allows the viewer to take advantage of non-visible sources of electromagnetic radiation such as- <laughs> That's what this fucking game is! It's just- it's like- It's like a shonen anime where they just like over-explain everything all the time. I made the mistake of watching six episodes of Bleach. Because I had never, like, really looked at Bleach before. Like, I think I saw, like, a couple episodes of it a long time ago. And then I was like, nah, let me just look at it. Because get the fuck out of here. Because I'm, like, looking at some anime right now. And I was like, let me just look at Bleach real quick. And I'm like, it's, it's just, it's boring. <laughs> That's a boring-ass cartoon. I don't understand how shows like that get so fucking popular. Like, maybe it has, like, spurts of being good? I don't know. I don't know anything quite like Bleach. It's good. The amount of actually good content in it is spread. Yeah, see, like, I, I figured it was like that. Like, where it's just, like, good in pockets. Like, it's probably fine sometimes, and then other times it's, like, ugh, like, just talking like this. But there's- see, they're talking about blood and internal organs being scattered around. That's fucking rad. Terrible sight. I can see clearly even through a night vision device. The gravel road is dyed crimson. The torn intestines are scattered and large. That's fucking cool! A mark of genocide. I like Bleach at first and then forgot to watch it. That's one of the things where it's like, if you forget to watch it for like a second, like 200 episodes, uh, oh god. Episodes happen, and then... They're like, well, let me just read the Wikipedia, I guess. It seems that someone slit a lot of people's belly and dragged them all together. This is the cause of the bad smell. Okay. It's cruel. Even in a poor Vietnam War movie, I have never seen such a situation. Happy birthday, and also ghost is not cool. Thank you. Bacon says that you're not cool. <laughs> not a cool guy. <laughs> Stay frosty, Bando. This is the Wild West. <laughs> I want to cosplay as Captain Alfred or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> Captain Albert. Slice and dice. <laughs> he rambles for hours about night vision, but his dead people make stinky. <laughs> Can't be confirmed from the sky. I heard it and wake me up. Wake me up. Certainly, even though this is a terrible disaster, none of the corpses are found. It's just epic guts everywhere. That's cool. I don't even see a one body, and there's no evidence that flesh has taken root. Both organic substance and inorganic substances aren't infected. I think you should eat some of that grass and find out. I thought, is it a different type from 610? Why is there no corpse? Either way, object class is determined by Euclid or higher. What does that even fucking mean, dude? Go to the house of Swan. Directions to the sub of her. 
If I answer Roger, follow the instructions, proceed to the village. Yep, that's how that works. <laughs> the sense of sliding feet to the blood. And the feeling of crushing the internal organs are transmitted to the boots. <laughs> I was proceeded in a stinky Nadataramura. <laughs> he wants to fuck the night vision. <laughs> oh, the visual novels are all the fucking same. Why am I back here talking to tits? Who, who is he talking to? It better not be me. Oh, her. Operator underscore girl. Excuse me, sir, Captain. And one of the operators speaks to Albert while watching her own PC. Huh? Nani? I'm sorry. I'm asking a very afraid question. Is it true that the soldier named Bando belonged to MTF? Tau five samsara? To that question, Albert is a little surprised. Apparently, she seems to have heard the conversation that was exchanged here. Just. Yeah, it's true. However, the period during which he was assigned there is long. Why do you think so? I was in the information department a while ago. At that time, I have browsed the material about MTF Tau dash five samsara. That's Disclosed a little bit. <laughs> Albert looks like he mows the lawn at 5 a.m. in short shorts. That's a fucking husband. That's awesome. According to the document, the four soldiers who make up the unit embedded the machine in whole body. No, immortal cyborg clones created from the flesh of a dead god. That's awesome. I like how many times they say flesh in this game. I'm fine with that. Can I turn over that? I have to pee so bad. <laughs> Bando's too normal. Normal people scare me. Even if you're watching the video in this way, you can't find a machine like part anywhere in your body. Both physical ability and equipments aren't different from normal. La 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 la. We were getting cool, we were stepping on guts, and now we're back in a tent. I don't care about the stupid guns. I will guarantee his ability. Bando is definitely Samsara of the fifth person. I don't know what that means. What is he talking about? I'm sure there's a Silicon Valley startup trying to do this. <laughs> what? Be an SCP containment? Yes! I'm never gonna stop playing- Oh my god, it's been like, almost- It's definitely been an hour and a half, that's all done. It's been an hour and a half, I haven't done anything! Maybe I should play Alone in the Dark. That would be funny. I remember that game. Oh god, my eyelash is falling out. Shit. Oh, we're in school! Um, I wake up. I got a Naruto run to the toilet. I have to pee so bad. I'll be right back.
I wake up! Uh, in the dark! A hard and cold floor feel. <laughs> that has good mouth feel and good floor feel. The dusty and feel lived in smell that I know well. This isn't my house, it's a different smell. Is <laughs> this cool? My four senses told me where I am now. Here, why? I was at home. Okay, so this is taking place after my mom got gutted. Alright. Get- why is it go to this backlog? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> and my hand hit an object like a desk in a chair. This is a school in the classroom, but I don't feel someone. Apparently I seem to be alone. Yeah, this character is blind. That girl that they showed in the picture is the character who is in the very beginning of the game talking to her lesbian best friend. So that's who this is. Swan. Getting heated about old musty ass Gundam. You could be getting heated about fresh, fleshy anime girls. <laughs> so waiting for my parents' return in my room. There it is again! That scared me a little bit. <laughs> I got spooked! The smell of blood. Hikari-chan voice. I- ah! Uh, I was stabbed! Oh shit! I was stabbed? Oh fuck! Freshy animes. I remember fear. I had a feeling of pass out. I got that good old pass out feeling of <laughs> a little passy out here. <laughs> I remember her voice seemed happy. I should have died. Yes, killed. By thing like Hikari chan. Touch the abdomen with both hands and check the wound. However, there are no scratches. No pain, no blood. Why? Why is it? Why? Am I living? No. It's a different- This isn't real. I'm wrong. No, I mustn't live. I- I'm- It will drive me crazy. The memory of the past and the current situation cause a discrepancy. Moreover, the fear as actual experience come flooding back. The tremor of the body does not stop. Just at that time. Ah, oh, it's scary! Mm. Run away! Run away! Run away if you want to survive! It's the same voice! Run away! I would regret stabbing someone so much if they started talking that much. Okay, I give you... I give you an eye! Oh, hell yeah! Give me a fucking eye, baby! Oh, I don't like that! That hurt my ears! Oh, fuck, dude! Look at that! I have a sharp pain in both eyes of blindness! It seems to <laughs> give me an M! Give me a C, K, E, Y! It seems as if both eyes were crushed, as if the eyeball were burned from the inside. The eye nerve was shaken with the mixer. I feel such a pain in both eyes. It hurts, it hurts, 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 hurts. Hurts! I scream and cover eyes with both hands. Even if I put the power enough to crush my eyes in both my hands, the pain will not stop. Liquid overflows from both- Ew, dude! <laughs> oh, the creepypasta! I'm crying blood, dude! This is the best! I got to be a creepypasta tonight. Hurts, hurts, hurts. Hurts, hurts. Hurts, hurts, hurts. Hurts, 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 hurts. Hurts, hurts, hurts. Hurts, hurts. Ah. Aha. Ha 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 I laugh unconsciously. When humans suffer excessive pain, they protect their mind by laughing. Once in a while, I heard that. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! What kind of
kind of birthday meat you got in here? <laughs> there is meat in this game. There was guts all over the ground. You didn't get to see them, though. Which is dumb. Yeah, she's laughing and crying blood. She's like an actual creepypasta. Uh, the moment I thought the mind would go crazy, suddenly the pain disappeared. Suddenly, momentarily. With the feel of the hand, I grasp that blood is still flowing from both eyes. My hands from both eyes. Dude. There she is! That's fucking sick! She's a creepypasta, dude. I love it. Crying blood. <laughs> no! She's not gonna see the doctor. She's too epic. This is the best character in a video game I've ever played. <laughs> She's 18, she can be a creepy GF. It's fine. She, oh no, she can't. She's totally blind now. She can't see anymore. <laughs> For the first time after I lost my memory, visual information. <laughs> Sight is visual information sent to the brain from your cornea and your retina. As Cicero said in the extremes of good and evil, no one seeks pain simply because it is pain and I was experiencing this because my eyes were melting and crying blood. <laughs> you remember when Cicero said that? <laughs> this is insane. As if my visual information was processed via some external method and sent directly to the brain through your eyeballs! <laughs> through the light refracting in your cornea and retina and irises and whatever the fuck else is in the fucking human's eyes. <laughs> it seems like someone is teaching me visual information. This is... I look around the circumference, there's a student's desk, a blackboard, a window, dark, it's night. The hands of the clock move, indicating the passage of time. <laughs> I feel like my eyes are like... I can't stop squinting at this reading. I need to like open- like pry my eyes open. I, if anyone else had parents, or at least my mother, who partially blamed me needing glasses on me squinting too much... You squinted too much reading the chalkboard, and now you need glasses! She says to six-year-old me, squinting because I need glasses. I squint because you motherfuckers gave me shit vision. Because my mom and dad both have shitty vision. Don't fucking blame my, <laughs> my squinting as needing glasses. Even so, this excitement is beyond words. I think said it was a sudden incident. It was a sudden incident. Family legacy is astigmatism. <laughs> it's not money. It's not inheriting a big house. It's not, like, getting a bunch of cool, like, talents. It's getting shitty eyesight. I'm at least glad I didn't get the shitty tooth. Shitty teeth gene. That was sucked. To the evidence that hadn't been experienced so far, brain panic that once I get dizzy causes fever and it's technically intense nausea. I barfed! That's cool, there's barf in this game. There was nothing in the stomach, only gastric juice was spilled. Why did you need to even say that? Why do you need to say how many times you threw up? Just say I vomited bile. Cares. I'm cramps. I got cramps. She got her period from her eyes. Hey, her eye. Right away. I gotta run. I'm barfing and running. Bloodline trait glasses. <laughs> I will go through the corridor along the wall. I don't know the destination. I don't know why it's necessary to escape. Because I'm the monster and I'm gonna get a date. 
It's cold and can't stop trembling. Walking for a while. I arrive at a place that looks like a staircase. Uh oh! Well, I can see! Yeah, it looks like a staircase. I can see sorta now, you know? That's pretty cool. I don't know why I need to run. <laughs> I threw up. That's one of the best pictures ever. That picture of that cat with like cat food all over its face. <laughs> I threw up. It's the best. Oh, you can see my cursor moving around on the stream. That sucks. Sorry. That's like really erratic and weird. I didn't know that I had that on my settings. Come on. There he is. I'm sure everybody knows what they're talking about. What is this? <laughs> wow! <laughs> that cat in a fucking baby carrier thing. <laughs> Cats are fucking stupid. I don't normally use the stairway of the school. If the, it's dangerous if the eye can't be seen. I see the steps and the stairs. I move my legs and start descending. Excuse me, steamer. Your mouse is on the screen. It's bothering me. Steamer! <laughs> one step. Steps. I move one step and another step. There are 13 steps in this staircase. It was when I first took the first step. Yikes! Rikes! I slipped on the stairs and fall down. As if I fell from the stairs to roll, I smashed the body to the floor of the tile. That's not the sound of someone of a human body falling. At all. She fell! Look at her fucking cool thigh highs, dude. Like you got a fucking creepy pasta wife. <laughs> She's 18, I can say this. Scooby Doo Pack <laughs> Power both arms, both arms start trembling. Run away, run away. Something's coming. What is coming? The thing. The thing. I hope it's really actually the thing. That would be cool. Run away. Body again. Trembling. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, is it. Is it Banjo? Is he here? Is Banjo here to fuck? There. It is Eyeballs thing so bad. <laughs> Why is my head so small? <laughs> oh, I can't. God, my eye hurts so bad. Oh, <laughs> monster bullets. 
Dude. This is like the whole game! This is not a demo! <laughs> Unless in the future they're gonna, like, improve on the visuals or improve on the dial, like, the translation? No! You can't just call this fear like the video game! You can't do that! You <laughs> can't do that! Oh, I gotta save it. It's been a while. Save! Christ! Captain, I arrived at my destination. I'm watching the House of Swan. Over. I pushed the PTT switch while hiding in bush in Barbara's bush. <laughs> this is fear for. This is just what they made instead. <laughs> Toppy, I also confirmed there is no doubt. Do you feel someone in the house? I don't feel person. Electricity is turned off. Anyway, the entrance is broken. Can I also enter from there? Roger, we'll comply, but be careful with objects. Listening to the reply of Captain, I will head to the entrance of the house holding a gun. <laughs> Apparently, the entrance door seems to have been broken from the inside. It seems that a heavy object popped out. Okay. <laughs> then there. This fucking bush, dude. Captain, I found a corpse. It looks like a woman. But the body is divided into two parts. There was a corpse. No, there was a blood pool and the flesh. A woman is divided into two from the torso, and the inside of her is scattered. All of the. The inside of her is scattered. You can't say her guts, it's curse words. The divided upper body also hit the wall and seems to have rolled over the floor after that. I like when there's kills in this game. At least something happens. <laughs> With what kind of extremely strong? Your pussy innards. <laughs> her insides, if you know what I'm saying. With what kind of extremely strong? Using what? In what way? Human body breaks like this? Just thinking. I feel sick. Sure. Perhaps it might be a mother-in-law of Swan. How would you know that? Like, how would you know that very specific thing, that very poorly translated specific thing about this person? Find Swan. I answer Roger. Oh god, this music! It was loud. <laughs> it was certain that there was no time to spend on the dead. <coughs> I will explore the house for a while, but no one else was found. I also found a place that seemed to be a student's room. There was no target there. Oh, whoa, what's this? Pussy innos? Captain, Swan can't be confirmed. Besides the corpse, they found it empty. Damn, where is she? It's fortunate that I can't find a corpse. But I got creepy. Why don't I encounter Skip? Why doesn't Skip attack me? Where did the Skip go? Why aren't the corpses of the villagers found? What attacked the village? I was starting to feel uneasy. From tension, sweat flows through my back. Unseen enemies are the most terrifying. Absurd fear, I've been tasted by far. But I still can't get used to. Bando, don't think about extra things. You should concentrate on your duties. The captain said in a cool voice. Listening to that word, I wipe the sweat that flows through my face. At the same time, when checking the time, with the left arm of the watch, it was just zero o'clock. If the story of Captain is true, more than four hours have already passed since the incident occurred. The situation is desperate. I know. Well, where should I go next? Well, the destination is... What? No way! Is it true? Captain? Suddenly, Captain stops talking with me. It seems that he seemed to talk to his subordinates. And from the radio, the long sigh of Captain is heard. Bando, can you hear me? It's clear. So what happened? Listen, calm down. Just now. UAV in the sky observed significant 
Hume levels fluctuations inside the village. Hume? I just need to process that music for a second. I feel my face turn pale. Hume levels. The fact that it has fluctuated dramatically is the proof that the reality is distorted. In other words, did reality bending occur in this village? Hume level. It's a phenomenon that alters the reality of the present as it's. Fuck off. For, I can't read that. For example, I'm in a place called Nataramura, where an incident involving a skip occurred. Apparently, it seems that genocide has occurred here. This is a fact and reality. It's impossible to change the past, which originally occurred. However, if I had a reality bending ability, I could make the massacre nothing happen. Skip doesn't attack the village. The slaughter doesn't occur in the village. It can restore the original daily life as nothing happened, of course. It's possible to cause the sudden genocide in a peaceful village in reverse, too. Structure and Interpretation of Computer Programs, SICP, is a computer science textbook by Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, professors Harold Abelson and Gerald J. Sussman with Julie Sussman. It is known as the wizard book in hacker culture. It teaches fundamental principles of computer programming, including recursion, abstraction, modularity, and programming language design. I can read all those words? But I don't know what they mean. <laughs> oh. I'm, I'm reading. I'm making up for the several years of not reading a book by reading all of this and all of that. We'll see. I hope this game is about like fucking monster pussy. I hope that's what it's about. That Minecraft book is... It's a lot. It's it's the second one, so like I don't know what's happening. Well, the game, the the game, the book recounts a lot of what happened in the first one, but I'm like still like Jesus Christ, like he fought like the king of the Endermen or something and killed him, but now he's like still haunting his mind. I don't know. It's so dark for Minecraft. <laughs> there's PewDiePie Minecraft videos, and then there's the Minecraft novels. Also, that Minecraft novel, the, um, the what you call it, not the prelude or whatever, but like the auth author's note, I guess, had like the reasons why he wrote the books, and it's because. His, like, little tiny son was so excited about Minecraft and thought it was the fucking best thing ever and he wanted to show his parents. So, the dad who wrote the books was, like, getting into it with his kid and he bought his kid a server and, like, he was, like, playing with him in Minecraft and it was really sweet and he was like, oh, I'm doing a thing with my kid. And then... <laughs> His kid, like, built all this shit that he was super proud of. And he showed his parents, he said, this is awesome. And then a bunch of fucking, sh like, internet shitlords came in because somehow his server information got, like, broadcasted somehow. And all these shitlords came in and ruined all of his stuff. So that's why the guy wrote those books. To, like chronicle his son's adventures I guess it's really sweet it's a very sweet endeavor and I was very touched by it I'm like that's really nice it's not just some weird guy writing Minecraft books just a nice yeah never make anything 
Especially if you draw a character with dark skin and it's not dark enough for the internet. Don't draw. Don't make things in Minecraft either. What? So what are we talking about before I started talking about Minecraft? Power to achieve if. That's reality. The guy who made Play with Gilbert also said he made it. <laughs> Play with Gilbert! Play with Gilbert was great. What a nice time. Calls a person with a special power reality bender. Reality bending ability is limited, so not so versatile as to be called the power of God. What the fuck? Foundation recognizes those with reality bending ability as a threat regardless of things or people. What is this? Like, Avatar? Can you be a reality bender? Booby ladies? Oh yeah, there were- Why were there booby ladies in Gilbert? <laughs> there are some fucking slots in that game. I say it again, be calm. That's right, it seems that a high hume reality bending levels have occurred just for a moment. From that place, can you feel something abnormality? Just a moment. I close my eyes and quiet mind as much as possible, and clear thoughts. There is a knack in doing it. Inhale, count to four. Exhale, count to four. It's a simple way to relieve tension. In this case, even when tortured, it can keep presence of mind. Then open your eyes and look around. However, special abnormalities and discomfort aren't recognized in the scenery reflected in my eyes. No, at least the visible reality is stable. I don't feel spirituality that goes beyond five senses, or super sensory energy and aura. The reality of the surroundings, including me, seems to keep the reference value. Was an object with reality bending ability rewritten his own reality in a limited way? What a oh, fuck. But even if some reality is written, we may not be able to recognize it either. However, things are getting hectic. If reality bending skip attack the village, we must think about measures. No, it may be different. What do you mean? Gilbert's a hoe. <laughs> he is a hoe. Swan. Y Yozen Kanata is a possibility of reality bender. If she is alive. I am going to fuck this goil. It's about the possibility. But if so, A class will be the reason to T Rai to rescue one girl. Even if this village is a cage prepared by Fuck Foundation, it's not straight. So, we have no choice. Go to school soon. She looks like something that young Derry Death <laughs> Fuck. Scoot. If Swan distorted reality, she should still be alive. Hurry up and get in contact with her. Roger. <laughs> Listening to the captain's words, I started running and left the house. I'm going, I'm going, I ran. During the time I was anxious. Fuck off. He's a reality bender. Easiest and most effective way to deal with reality benders is to kill. Gotta kill her. Moreover, it's useless with conquer from the front. If they recognize that they are enemies, the existence of raiders will disappear at that point. What the fuck are raiders? What is he talking about? I must destroy their body, especially the head and the chest. I'm gonna fucking destroy that chest. I heard rumors that there are people who killed 99 people reality benders in this way. Reality benders should be instantly killed as much as possible without thinking about securing or protection. It's a two fucking joke. Such as to protect such a girl. While thinking such a thing, I run on the gravel road of bloodstain. After running for about ten minutes! Jesus Christ! A soldier who has basic physical strength, you can arrive soon. How many words have we read and you don't even have this girl's number? 
Freedom from gate I saw how you feel building appearance and a reinforced concrete structure. Oh, I heard that gun click. That's cool. Bando, rapid increase in Hume level was confirmed again inside the school building. I was told some information I didn't want to hear. Uh, it's cool, really. If I can go back safely, I will apply for hazard pay to the foundation. When I say a desire not to come true, I headed to the entrance of the school building. The main dude has no game. None. He hasn't gotten this 18 year old's number yet. I'm scared, dude. At a speed like walk. Size, although the tactical light is attached to the assault rifle. Light lighting it is easy. Lighting it easily is equivalent to revealing its own position. My fucking fifth grade reading level is just plummeting. <laughs> In close quarters battle, the meaning of the meaning oh my god <laughs> it's just lighting. I don't know what this rifle is. I don't know what this man is. This is what a half Japanese, half Iranian person looks like. That's what they think that looks like. I guess a K-pop star. Because it's very useful as a weapon that robs sight when encountering an enemy. If you understand this as an enemy area, it's fundamental to avoid it using- Oh my god, the fuck are you talking about? Bando, that's in the school building. UAV can't get inside. Don't expect support from the sky. If you need to, whoops, contact me with Kodak. Kodak! Oh, it's Metal Gear! <laughs> Roger, you go back to the village, keep watch. Report Swan or Skip when you find it. Copy. I pray that Swan is neither a reality vendor nor Skip. Radio is interrupted. I will continue to search the first floor of the school building by killing footsteps. Killing footsteps? Oh, it's the <laughs> British standard issue rifle. Eyes, ears, skin. Sharpen all nerves. I'm gonna sharpen my skin. It was at that time. Bend my pussy. <laughs> I heard a sound at the same time. I feel like I heard a scream of a woman. Over there? In one direction I heard the sound. Perhaps human beings have fallen from high places. It seems to have fallen from the stairs. Oh, I, that's when I fell down. Someone's sitting on the floor. There she is. What, what the fuck? Ah, a girl there. A black haired girl who was still under 20 years old. You had to point that out. Her appearance, her appearance, <laughs> her appearance was consistent with the figure that I definitely saw in the photo. So, except for some abnormal. Are you Ryozen Kanata? I ask, no rather than a question. Doubt leaked unconsciously. Ah, ah, you are. While she is scattered terribly, I look at, I look up at me. As I thought, she seems to have fallen from the stairs. She doesn't seem to be seriously injured, but she trembled limbs, and there are traces of blood seen at her eyes. Looking at her like that, I had no choice but to be careful. I get close to her, quietly squat. He squat. Look at this. <laughs> I am a MTF at Foundation. I came to save you. Foundation? Save? She seems to be a little confused, and it seems that my words aren't well understood. But it was fuck salvation that she had less hostility. 
What the fucking shit is this? <laughs> Period is consistent. Her eyes are open, the eyeball is blue and black, and a small light is scattered. Yeah, dude, she's got galaxy eyes, that's cool. But that eyes don't have pupil. If my memory is correct, this feature is similar to a certain skin. It was SCP-134. A young girl that is a human being, the eye socket seemed to have deep space unfolding. Hell yeah foundation document stated that the skip was completely blind without eyelids. However, she resembled that skip. She is looking. She can looking at me. No, she can looking me. I can't. I can't even read the bad English. And the information from Captain Rios and Kanata should have been blind. Her eyelids should be closed. With just reality bending, is there anything to do with that? I hide the tension in palpitations. I look in her eye. It- it's wrong! I really dead! But that person... Run away! Hurry! Hurry, hurry! She looks confused and says a word that isn't coherent. It's acute stress disorder. She probably did a horrible experience. She got the Windows screensaver in her eyes. I remember that screensaver. I feel like if you don't remember that screensaver, there's something that you're blocking out, probably. I did a dang heckin' horrible experience. I approached her and put both hands on her shoulder. Okay, see my eyes. Calm down, take a breath, take a deep breath. Say in a cool tone, hiding in patience, calm. I know well it's difficult for her, but... However, at least, if she can assume that rescue came, she can expect recovery from confusion. Then she's shaking her shoulders and breathes in slowly. She nodded several times and showed it. Apparently, she, she could regain a little calm. Ms. Kanata, let's get out of here. The nightmare is over. But before, question and test. Oh, I don't want to take a test. <laughs> you used to have accent before, so you lost your childhood memory. How old were you when you were in the accident? This is the information on the photo that Captain handed over to me. Rios and Kanata's past. Rios and Kanata knows her own information. After she was a little silent. I don't know, but when I woke up at the hospital, I was seven years old. I was heckin' seven. It was a question without delicacy, but forgive me. Then I want you to see this. I took out the cilium, plugged into the body armor, and then moved it to the left and right shoulder. Cute stress disorder. <laughs> Kawaii stress disorder. <laughs> she keeps watching the cilium. Eyes and head moved slightly. After all, she could see. I could confirm conflicting information. Finally, Miss Kanata, this is Cilium. Emits light when shocked. Try to imagine in the head like this will shine. What the fuck are you talking about? It shines without giving shock. Come on, she's confused. Begins to look at the Cilium to concentrate. She's honest. And wait for about five seconds. But Cilium does not shine. Thank you. The test is over. Can you stand? Yes, I'm okay. I gotta sleep. Okay, good night! When I handed out, she took a hand and got up weakly. Good, you're a tough girl. I laughed a little and gently stroked her head. She got head pets, dude! Look at her blush! I'm gonna fuck. In such a case, it's important to make her relax even a little. If she gets panicked, extra effort will increase. There's no use this time now. I'll put away the psyllium and press the PTT switch. Look at this fuck ass dude! What the fuck? Oh! Great Swan secured. You can also verify her identity. Check your Steam gifts. gift. 
online simulator. Look at the second to last screenshot. Hold on, let me add this. Thank you very much. Let me look at this, add this to my library. Wait, what? What is this? Get out of here. Come on. No. Yeah, go back. What was it? Online simulator. Here we go. Do I have to- how do I see the screenshot? What? My purchase couldn't be completed because it looks like I already own one of the games I'm trying to buy. Are you- That has nothing to do with this online simulator. Like, nothing to do with that. Get the fuck out of here, dude. What? Okay, I'm gonna have to look at that later because Steam is being fucking stupid. I have to go back. Go back to this anime game. Steam is dumb. I'll look at that later. Oh, you hear you talking to me. Online simulator. That's <laughs> so good. Oh fuck. Everybody uses the online media. No, don't play it! <laughs> don't play this fucking video! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to stream that. Okay. Roger that. I see. I was relieved. Captain, we're in the safety problems be reported. There's a point different from the information. Also, there's a suspicion. However, the test's reality of bending ability was negated. When it gets silent for about two or three seconds. No, it's meaningless to think about it now. Can she walk? She's hurt, but there's no interest in walking. Alright, helicopter heading straight away. Sending me... Did you find something? I'm saying where the captain... Contact, pick up. No longer staying in such a place. To be honest, I care what the identity that attacked this village is. Take care of priority. But nothing is attacked, that's the best. I'm scared of her, dude. She's creepy. She's looking at a dark corridor where she can't see anything. It's just like cats. That's <laughs> what <So> Penny does. <laughs> she looks into the hallway where she can't see anything and screams. <laughs> Something is there. We finally cleared off all the anime figure boxes off the landing on the staircase. And now the cats have access to it, but Foster's too fucking fat. To go up there so penny goes up there and she goes into the corner and she screams into the night at nothing on the wall so that's fun ah there you are Could not. Could not. oh fuck dude <laughs> shoot the assault rifle with full auto eek to a sudden gunshot Ryo's and Kanata scream, but ignoring her, and pull a trigger. Oh, look at it! I got a booty and shit over here! <laughs> Finally, something sick that isn't guts. It shattered the limbs of the thing. But. Oh, fuck! <gasps> Did he die? Oh, shit! Did he fucking get, like, stabbed in his brain? Dude? Oh, man. Foster's my kind of cat. He wears his gay cave. He's disgusting. This is literally the whole game. 
Condemned criminal. Why are they just naming the chapters real video games? Fear and Condemned Criminal Origins are both. You can't do that. I was penetrated. Bando's fucking dead, dude. He fell down on the floor. He was broken easily. Came to help. He should have said so. Kanata. Oh my god. Thing who killed him walks towards me. Let me fuck the monster. With the voice of Akari Chan. Dude, let me fuck my lesbian monster girlfriend. Drags the shoe sole while playing crawling footsteps. Kanaka. Kanaka? What the fuck? You ran away. Why? From before us. Did you disappear? Thing asks me with the voice of a close friend, but with a voice that's very disgusting. And Thing reviews appearance. Let me see. Let me see it. Oh, hell yeah, dude! It's a fucking tentacle flesh schoolgirl wife this rules i'm gonna get you next time for sure kanada too let's be us i have seen the identity of thing its appearance was imprinted in the brain the whole body dyed red the appearance of a girl on the head is a pulsating meat block like a heart on the back a huge flesh object with distortion an intestinal like object leaks out from the torn abdomen as she holds it the intestine, which leaked in large quantities, can't be held with her small palm. In such a scene, something that jumped out of her belly moves to grotesque like another creature. I feel nauseated, the smell of blood and internal organs. Falling blood and mucus. Creepy behavior, as if it's cramping. I can't talk about her cramps. The girl who decorated with such appearance walks towards me while trembling the body with joy. She should have been shot with a gun. <laughs> However, she seemed happy, looked happy, looked happily, laughing. The Perry Monster. <laughs> Shoot her with Midol bullets. Not human. That's definitely not a human being. Oh, totally not. Definitely not. Why? Yeah. Why? I ran away. Move the trembling feet. They talk about feet a lot. Kanata. Oh, she slapped. But I get caught in my feet by the tentacles and fall down. Oh, my feet got caught in tentacles. This game rocks. And I was dragged and pressed against the wall. Dude, fuck this monster Gia. Why are you running away? Why? No, a while ago. Absolutely. I should have killed you. Kanata, you should have been killed. If you are dead, Kanata too, you must be us. We'll have you take responsibility for killed by us. The tentacle relentlessly entangled me in humiliation for my body. Stroke and crawl. It's as if I would taste my body. Ah, warm, soft. Kanata's body. It feels really good. Hikari-chan. Are you Hikari-chan? Tear my pussy out. Some cunt, period. <laughs> Snap out of it, please. Yes, we are Sukiya Hikari. So, Kanata, I want you accept us? She made my face close to me. She extend her tentacles from the face meat to my face. Oh, fucking face meat. Look at that. Look at her polyp. Look at her face polyp. I love you. Love you, love you, love you, love you. Love you, love you. Love you, love you. I want you. Want you, want you. Want not you, want not you, want not you, want not you. <laughs> I'm gonna pee again. Your white skin, your beautiful hair. Face, voice, body, personality, body temperature, smell. I want to monopolize everything. Get- Why are you backlogging me? Get out of here! Kanata's body and mind. 
The tentacles of the face played the sound of mucus. It's like the sound of music, but it's mucus. <laughs> Polyp has an anime eye. The three eyeballs keep staring at me forever. Scared. I'm scared. I can't stop trembling. Scared. 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 Kanada, I love you. I can't live without you, so let's also become us. Hikari-chan is passionately saying that, touching my body with a tentacle. This- this game got really cool, like right now. This is the only time this game got cool. The tentacle enters into the clothes, stroking around the abdomen gradually to the chest. No, I feel nasty. Feeling of nausea crawls through my body. Every time a tentacle traces the skin, a warm feeling is conveyed. As the tentacle comes into clo come into clothing, one after another, and stroke their backs, goosebumps appear in their whole body. And finally, tentacles came into the shorts. When a tentacle crawls through my body, a voice came out and the body trembled. With shame and fear, I can't think of anything anymore. No. Stop it. Come on, Kanata. Let's become one. In the shorts, the tip of the tentacle is sharp and pointy. It's definitely ready to be a Zem! Decide my resolution and close my eyes. Tentacle slowly. You can't say would you kindly. You can't do that. There's too many video game references in this video game. That's. What the fuck? How is he alive? He got stabbed in the brain! Oh shit. Hang on, shot twice. Shot in her head twice. Her head got blown away. <laughs> That's not the name of the body. I fell from the butt to the floor. She also falls on the floor while spurting blood. Is Hikari is violently rampaged with the left half of the head missing. When a man approaches such a she, Hold down and straddle her. Hit. Hit, hit, hit. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. I just... screen cap that really fast. I don't know who you were, but no hard feelings. I'm gonna cough up a piece of my lung. <laughs> Say it louder for the gamer boys in the back. <laughs> I couldn't have been dead. His head's too small. The tentacle missed his head. He didn't get stabbed in the head. He missed. Head over it again and take out one syringe. Then he stabbed her with a syringe. Ah! Uh, she is stabbed with a syringe. She violently screams, like crying as hurts hurts. When a man leaves, the mutation starts immediately. On the skin of Akari Chan, things like tumors come up one by one pink color and eerie tumor. While squirting a lot of blood, as if the body were broken from the inside, her body is swallowed by the tumor. And when the whole body is covered with a tumor, 
and transformed it to a meat block. That's awesome! Hikari Chan's movement stopped. What? Rejection reaction caused by administration of foreign cells. That's GVHD. Original cell, liver cells of a dead god, attack the host and proliferate. Thing is because, fuck. All cells were eroded and the whole body became liver. He mansplains so and spits his blood and teeth out of his mouth. He's spitting his teeth out. I guess he should have died. I definitely saw a scene that penetrated my head with a tentacle earlier. Uh oh, there's no scar in his face. I saw wrong. Never should have been. He didn't get stabbed in the head this whole time. Came back to life. Back the ugly chain. <laughs> Certainly Thing called my name. The voice of my friend Thing wouldn't meet many times. Stop it! A man stops. Fuck off! Trying to approach thing. It isn't human anymore. It's not even a living thing. I don't know what relationship you were with the thing. But already don't treat as human beings, the man said in a cold tone. I pointed to me that it's real. Such a thing, such a thing, such a monster. I used to be my friend. I don't know her original appearance. I don't know her face. I don't know hair color or skin color. Hell yeah, birthday stream. Yeah. I have to pee really bad again. I have never seen her before. It's only voice that I know. After all, until the end, her true appearance, face body. Happy- oh, thank you. Even her smile. I couldn't recognize it. The only thing I could see so ugly. My god, tears flowed from my eyes because it was sad, because it was scary. Thank you for saying a happy birth day. And let's get out of here. You shouldn't be in such a place anymore. Go out to the schoolyard and go to the helicopter. How am I supposed to know what a helicopter is? It was when a man tried to say it. Something. A sound was heard. Oh, fuck. The flesh lumps covered and solidified by the tumor are slightly trembling. No, don't come in anymore. I'm not you. Desire is the measure of square, 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 square. Beyond. From. Do as you will. To who? The voice of the flesh lump suddenly turns into a different person. That voice is in Hikari Chan, an incredibly beautiful voice. But at the same time, noise sounds are mixed, and sometimes it's difficult to hear it. He got big hips. <laughs> it wasn't possible to distinguish whether the voice was a male or female. No, Kanata is my important. I have endured across countless. I have seen the infinite murdered death. The entrails of our Beheld eternity unfurled. Mm. 
know that your draw is near. And with your own, shall you birth. The Sassy Peace Life Journal Entries. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Nata. Kanata. Kanata! Scream! Kari Chan Scream shakes the corridor window. Then, night. We will go to the next scene. But I'm going to save it. Right? Did that save it? Yeah, okay. I'm going to stop because I have to pee and I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm tired. It's 11 p.m. I'm 30 years old. 30 years old today. So that means I'm tired because I go to bed at 10 p.m. every night and it's 11. It's past my bedtime, bitch. So... I'm definitely gonna fucking play this game again. Holy shit, dude. This game rules now. That took a long time. It took like two hours for this game to get sick. But this game's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna play it again and I hope that you'll all look at it with me because it's cool. Bye! Thank you for the birthday.